What is going on, man? Welcome back to a brand new video today. And today, obviously, we are back on Modern Warfare 2. Today, we are talking about, again, once again, Modern Warfare 3. And to be honest with you, I kind of want to talk about the fact that is this game going to finally, are we finally going to have a Call of Duty that makes it a full year without everybody complaining about it? Every single year, we get a brand new Call of Duty. We get a brand new game. And honestly, I understand that it's Call of Duty and it's, it's kind of like the NBA and Madden situation because Call of Duty is in that mix. It's in that mix of where it's kind of the same game almost every single year and everybody complains about it but we know exactly what we're getting into right we know that we're getting a game that has been out for 15 years 20 plus years however long the games have been out however long it's taken for these games to get to where they are now and there's not much you can change about these games without everybody complaining about it so when you buy these games like modern warfare 3 and you buy these games like madden and nba and all these even gta itself it's taken so everybody complains about gta 6 taking so long but if they were to have dropped it four years ago or three years ago or even this year and the game wasn't finished every single person that plays that game would completely demolish it and everybody wouldn't complain nobody has patience anymore for these games to finally develop get better and them test things out and stuff like that man you have to give these games time for them to get to the best of their ability in modern warfare 3 obviously we can tell obviously we, we already know that it was supposed to be pretty much an expansion pack for modern warfare 2 it wasn't supposed to be its own game we were supposed to get a full two years without getting a brand new call of duty so they did developers could work on a brand new game for that long amount of time or the duration of however long they've been going in the first place there's always call of duties being made even right now i believe they have their certain schedules they have their set times for when they're supposed to release their own games and they have their own years stuff like that they're always being developed behind the scenes while new call of duties are already being pushed out honestly i think i give this game maybe a month maybe even a few weeks maybe two months before everyone starts complaining about it and then i honestly think that i mean a lot of people i'm I'm going to enjoy this game no matter what. I mean, it's Call of Duty, no matter what. I mean, there's always going to be those things that come out in this game that nobody's going to like or everyone's going to like. Some people are going to like. It's it's always going to be different for every other person that plays this game. This happens every single year where we get hyped up for the Call of Duty. We get hyped up for the game and then they drop it and everybody complains the second everything comes out. You have to give these games time. You have to give the developers time to actually react to the feedback and put in the work to change the things that they need to change for the game to be great. So that brings me, what do the developers have to make? Or or what do the so that brings me to the fact that what do the developers have to do to satisfy the call of duty community they have to listen to the feedback they have to go out there they have to release this game they have to give it a few weeks and once the feedback and stuff like that comes out and make sure it's a majority make sure it's a majority decision of everybody in the community if if it's do not just please do not just listen to huge creators do not do that because the fact that the creators are going to make their money no matter what they want they're going to make their money and they're going to do whatever they're going to do so just listen to the actual community listen to feedback and actually act on it do not just sit there like the one that we just got everybody complained for weeks upon weeks and even the even the creators at next they just didn't react once they gave feedback the developers just said screw this we're not doing anything about it and even the creators themselves said blatantly that the developers just did not listen they did not listen to a single thing that they said they did not change anything they did not take the feedback well so we're hoping sledgehammer games this year once the feedback comes even if even if it's really good like just react to it you have to go out there and give the community what they want you're i mean you're gonna make your money no matter what you do so why not just take that next step and help the community themselves another big thing about the call of duties and stuff like that and warzone itself is going to be a big thing here for this but hackers cannot become the forefront of the game if we go out there and drop this game and then there's hackers upon hackers upon hackers i understand that we have ricochet out there and i understand that we have a better performance for hackers and stuff like that we have to stay on top of it because people are going to complain and complain and complain and then if you take too long to stop these hackers from doing what they're doing once the hackers are gone or once they're gone no matter what people are still going to complain about oh this guy's hacking this guy's doing this this guy has walls no matter what because you took so long and now everybody believes that everybody is hackers so you have to stay on top of these things we have to and like i said it was a big thing for warzone warzone i mean once warzone dropped during covid everybody played that game everybody was on it i understand that covid had a big effect on it everybody was playing that game no matter who i mean literally everyone it's just like how 
how Fortnite was. It's probably not as big as Fortnite was when it first dropped, but everybody was playing that and then hackers came into it. They made it almost impossible to enjoy the game and it sparked a whole thing, like I said, where everyone thought everyone was cheating, no matter even if they weren't. And once we drop this, like I said, I don't know if we're going to have a Warzone announcement, if we're going to have a brand new map, if we're going to have anything for Warzone. Warzone hasn't even been in the question yet. So again, like I said, I have no clue, but like Modern Warfare 19, are we going to have to have Warzone take over the Call of Duty space again to make Call of Duty great? Are we going to have to go to Warzone? Are we going to have to have a huge part of the fan base of Call of Duty leave Modern Warfare 3 itself and go to Warzone because the game just isn't as good as Warzone itself? Modern Warfare 2019, like I said, became stale and everyone went to Warzone and constantly played that. I mean, Twitch itself even made like a legit brand new browsing feature on it because of Warzone. I understand that it was separate, but literally Warzone had like 150,000 viewers on it at one point and there was like 20,000 people on literally just Twitch itself. That's just Twitch. And those are viewers just on Twitch, not on any other streaming platform. It was like a hundred and like 30,000 differential between all viewers and stuff like that just on Twitch itself. So, I mean, we have to stay on top of this. If you want this game to succeed, you have to make sure we're balancing out what we're doing from Warzone to Modern Warfare 3. And like I said, I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If they change anything drastic about this game other than the movement, Modern Warfare 3 itself was a really, really good game. So if we can stick to the basics, if we can stick to those maps, if we can stick to those guns and other than just change movement, I believe this game is going to be almost a nine out of 10 because everybody loved Modern Warfare 3. And I mean, like I said, we have to just stay on top of these things. One of the biggest things that I hope come back for Modern Warfare 3 itself is the big sniper thing. There was an era where everybody used snipers 24 seven. I mean, Black Ops 2 had the Ballista and the DSR. Black Ops 1 had the L96 and the Car 98. I believe Black Ops 3 had the Locust and the SVG. Modern Warfare 2019 itself even had the AX50 and the HDR. We just need snipers that will come back and they will be balanced enough to where we can go out there and we can use snipers and not have the, the zoom in scope be so slow. Give snipers the shine that they had before. Do not completely nerf them to the ground. Just give these guns all balances and of course update them as the community gives feedback. Max Holloway fights this weekend against the Korean Zombie, as well as Giga Chikatse is fighting again. The boy Max Holloway, like I said, is fighting against TKZ. Hopefully he can go out there and get this W, man, because, I mean, Max, other than Alexander Volkanovsky, is the best featherweight that there is right now. So we go out there and finish TKZ, and hopefully we can get another title shot, man. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, man. If you guys did, let's see if you can drop five likes in today's video. Comment down below what you guys want to see in the next one. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'm always posting Call of Duty content on here. So, like I said, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new if you guys do like the call of duty content like i said hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace